All right, so as you can see here, I have the legendary Reaper outfit, which is the tier 100 of season three, AKA John freaking Wick. Now, in addition, I have his trusty number two pickaxe. If you've never seen the John Wick's movie, in part two, I think it is, he uses the pencil to annihilate one of his foes, and that's what he's known for. And then we've got the high octane glider, which is also his, this is his car, which is from the first one. Now, as far as I know, there's no back bling for Mr. John Wick. And likewise, of course, there's no contrail. So it has been leaked that there's gonna be a limited time mode called Wick's Bounty. Now, if you weren't aware, his name is not John Wick in the game, it's the Reaper. I assume they didn't have the copyright approval for this. However, like I said, this has been leaked by Lucas Seven Yoshi, and I'll link him on Twitter that there's gonna be a limited time mode called Wix Bounty. Now, as you can see here, this is what he posted. This says Wix Bounty, and then there's some challenges. And again, if you've seen the movie, there's a bunch of coin talkage in the movie. So I imagine that this limited time mode is gonna come out when John Wick 3 comes out in theaters, which I believe is at the end of this month, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, if you complete these challenges, you can unlock the John Wick back bling. And according to this leaker, he says it's called Assassin Suit Coin. And again, as I mentioned, in the movie, they use these gold coins. So I imagine it'll look like that, but he doesn't post a picture. So as far as I know, the John Wick skin, of course, is not coming back out. Maybe they'll do an updated one. I don't know. But according to this leaker, it's just going to be the back bling. So I don't know what to tell you if you don't have the skin. You could still rock the back bling. It just, it won't go with anyone except for the Reaper. But more importantly, I wanted to show you guys that in Paradise Palms, they added John Wick's house from the movie. So we're gonna jump into a match, I'm gonna show you the house, and then we'll pull up some movie images and see how they compare. All right, so I actually recorded this video yesterday when season nine dropped. However, I did seven videos yesterday and I didn't wanna upload another one and just bombard my subscribers. So I'm redoing it, this time in playground mode. I did it live last time and it was unfortunate because I couldn't know where all the chests were. And in playground mode, all the chests and items always spawn. So as you can see, where Calamity's house used to be, if you remember Calamity from a few seasons ago, she had her house set up here and the tractor still remains, but John Wick moved in, kicked her to the curb, and this is now the John Wick mansion. So we're gonna take a look and see just how many chest spawns can appear in this house. And then I'm gonna show you a secret that only John Wick fans will know. So let's casually peruse. He's got an upstairs here. I don't hear any chests. He's got three bedrooms on the top. I guess this one's technically a, a bathroom. And he's got a nice balcony. He's got some coconut trees. I do hear a chest over here. Let's take a peek. Yeah, we'll go down. Drop through his little open windows. So one chest spawn so far. This looks like it's in, what is this, the kitchen? Yeah, that must be the kitchen. Got a few uh, item spawns. He's got a large house for sure. There's his living room. So, so far only one chest. Wait a minute, is that? Okay. Let's check in here. Okay, he's got one in the master bedroom. I wonder if there's any, oh, there's an abstract painting on the wall. I wonder if there's any references to his dog in the house. So far I haven't seen any. He's got a bunch of weird paintings. I wonder if those paintings are legit. Check out his little backyard porch. Nice aerial view of the water. Perhaps the ocean down there. So, so far, only two chest spawns. But quite a few, like I said, quite a few item spawns. I hear another chest. Aha, okay. So, now let's show you the secret. So, apparently there's only two chests in the entire ground level and upper level. However, if you've seen the John Wick movies... Here's the basement. I was going to say you can break down, but there's a door. On the far end of this house, there's a door leading to the basement. Now, you can hear that there are chest spawns down here, but where could they be? And again, if you've seen the John Wick movies, he comes into his house, goes to his basement, and what does he do? He digs in the concrete and pulls out all his weapons. So there's three ammo crates right here, and if we dig under the ground, check that out. There are three potential chest spawns right here. Let's just open this, open this. Oh, I didn't want to grab it all. And it's just like in the movie. 
How insane is that, that they put this movie Easter egg in John Wick's mansion? I love this. This is a great landing spot. If you want to land Paradise Palms and you don't want to get thrown right into the action, let's see if you can break... I think you can break down from here. Then land at John Wick's mansion. Yeah, you can. And that'll take you straight down. That might actually be faster. I don't know. So now, let's do a little comparison. We're going to compare. I'm going to get up on an aerial view. We're going to take a look at the architecture of the mansion and compare it to the real-life counterpart. So here it is. This is the aerial view of John Wick's mansion. And now I'll pull up some actual in-movie screenshots and see how they did. It looks, from what I remember, this is what it looked like. But we'll see in just a second. All right, so as you can see here, this is his actual house in the movie. And it looks pretty darn close. The architecture on the movie house kind of slants up in some of the roofs where it doesn't in the actual Fortnite game. But the layout looks pretty much identical. I'm actually impressed. They mimic this pretty well here. You can even see the three car garage on the front of the real house. And that's exactly how it was in the game. So all around, this is impressive. But because they added this house, this even further solidifies the fact that this Wick bounty Limited time mode is indeed coming out, and hopefully we get more than just a back bling for him. We'll see. Maybe they have a contrail for him as well. And I'd be surprised if we got a different style for the Reaper. That would be so awesome, but there's no leaks or anything to indicate that at the moment. But I was never a fan of this John Wick skin. However, it's growing on me a little bit, but with the back bling, I think it'll be much, much better because I never know what to run. I just always end up running the Black Knight shield because nothing else really looks... Decent. I mean, a few of these are okay on him, but I'd be curious to see what this coin back bling looks like. So that's all there is to it. I just wanted to showcase that Mr. John Wick's mansion is now in the game. He booted Calamity to the curb and said, this is my neighborhood now. Don't mess with John Wick.